Hey everybody, I'm Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how you can blur faces and license plates using Adobe Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, process on faces, but the process is exactly the same on license plates. So uh, first off, what we're going to do, I've got this uh, photograph of a crowd here. I'm going to duplicate this this background layer right here and uh, you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to use the default name for this uh, tutorial a lot of times particularly if you have a lot of layers it's a good idea to name them something you'll remember what it is alright so now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to filter here and we're going to go to blur and then we're going to go down to Gaussian blur and it brings up this little box right here uh, you can see uh, you want to make sure that it's the entire uh, image is previewed up here this little checkbox uh, down here where it says 100% we're going to bring it down so we can see more of the picture and the reason we're going to do this is because we want to be able to to look at particular faces to see how the the Gaussian blur is going to affect them now you may be just blurring one face in an image uh, or you may be blurring a number of faces in an image we're going to take this down to uh, um, the least amount so that it's sharper in here and uh, let me bring this up a little bit I'm going to use this woman's face right here to gauge what the blur looks like and the reason is is this man's face right here is already blurred slightly so if you picked his face and you adjust the blur level for his face uh, and you wanted to blur her face as well uh, there might not be an, enough blur on it because it will look like this man's face is a lot more blurred than it is because it's starting out blurred so we're going to go with the sharp face if you want to do multiple faces in an image you want to pick the sharpest face that you want to blur and uh, we're going to bring it up you can see the detail starts to disappear I'm going to leave it right here so we can just see a hint of a face you can bring it all the way up here uh, or anywhere up in the area in, in blur the face out entirely probably don't want to go all the way up to here because it actually will darken her face as well so you want it down enough even if you want it blurred out you want to get it to, to the point where it's going to look good blurred I guess as, as, as you might think of it so I'm going to bring it down I want a little bit of detail but still unrecognizable so that looks pretty good to me I'm going to click OK there now of course now we have this image here and uh, we don't want everything blurred in it we just want certain faces blurred in it so we're going to create a mask and so we're going to go up to layer and we're going to go to the layer mask and we're going to go to hide all and so now if you look over here we have this black square which is a layer mask but nothing's masked off currently or, or I guess actually everything's masked off currently uh, so what we're going to do now is we want to go up here and select brush and you can go up here and select the size of the brush you you don't want it totally hard you want some softness I have it like at about 50 percent so that the edge isn't totally sharp so that it kind of fades off and so uh, what we're going to do is now we can go to any face on the picture and just kind of paint in uh, we want to make sure over here you see it's we have black and white you, you want to click this here and switch it to white if it's not already on white so that we can draw in uh, whatever area we want masked off and so you can see right here we can select as much or as little of the face as we want we can get the entire head or part of the hairline whatever we want the other nice thing about using the brush here is it's easy to uh, uh, take somebody her face for example 
only part of her uh, face is visible and uh, we can go right up to this man's head right here without interfering with his face as well so we can block out any detail that we want on the image and we can do the same thing with the license plates so that's how you uh, blur faces and license plates using uh, Adobe Photoshop. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.